Hey everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time. Today I'm going to share my experience of using this Weed and Pro music streamer using music streaming service and in-house music server which is Sony hapz one es with this Acuface E4000 amps and primarily I use Amazon Ultra HD uh, streaming service and Apple Music as well as trying internet built-in DAC and also try with my favorite budget deck, SMS SU1 deck, and also try with this Dina Fritz Pontus Do deck. Fit and finish and quality of the component is just about right. The plastic housing, a little bit uh, thin feeling. Other than that, I don't have any issues handling it and connecting and unplugging in and out of this device. So, everything works out very nicely. It features optical inputs and coaxial input as well as optical out and also has analog out and analog in which simply line input so you can connect other devices that have the analog RCA out, ADC, and then you got DAC. So if you need the ADC feature, it's built into this Wii M Pro, and I don't have any remote control. All I use is through the uh, Wii M Pro app. So let's open this Wii M Home app. So Wi-Fi is connected. I don't use Bluetooth. I don't use line in or optical in. You can manage your music services. Right now, I only enable Amazon Music. So all other services pretty much other than you cannot have like YouTube Music. Apple Music, you have to do AirPlay. So if you hit this device, there is a little gear icon you can get in there. So these are all the settings. So here is a, you can do a Chromecast audio or Amazon Alexa setting. You can rename it. You can send to your speaker with this VM Pro and preset content. So those are some of my playlists that I already preset it there. The network status and standby mode. I never turn it off. I leave it on all the time. So that's me. You can change it there. A remote control. I don't have equalizer. I don't use, but you can play around with it. Audio setting. That's what I used, right? Volume output. I choose to use it as the fixed because I don't use it with power amplifier or active speaker to control the uh, volume control from the front touch panel. So I don't use that. Then I change the line output to two volt RMS. But if you use headphones or sensitive, higher sensitive, sensitive headphones, you can choose uh, one volt RMS, but that depending on your choice. Generally two volt RMS is the uh, industry standard for uh, analog RCA outputs. And then Optical output selection, I choose highest resolution, 192K and 24-bit depth. So that is what I choose and coax here as well. So I use same resolution, highest resolution. You can also try test tone to it. So that is uh, just to confirm that working properly combination with this uh, Wii and Pro. And also you can output directly using RCA line out to connect your amplifier. So built-in DAC is served inside this Wii and Pro sounded very decent but when I changed to external DAC it greatly improved the sound. If you want good quality DAC without spending a lot of money I highly recommend you to try with SMS SU1 DAC but if you already have high quality external DAC just pair this with and pro with your deck and you will have very good sounding streaming device. So that is the uh, my advice. And next thing is I don't use MQA so it's turn, I turn it off. Mono audio if you have uh, some mono music streaming probably you can enable it. Audio input you can choose every input that is available through the app or you know, you can change it from the main screen and auto sensing. So line in and optical in, it will automatically sense it if you connect it or turn on the device. So touch control, meaning the front panel, you can use all the button as the touch control. So that is a 
pretty simple and you can easily control it there. Device is the way you want to do all the setting. And next thing that I like to mention is the home music share, right? If you enable home music share, if you hit it, it will show my music server, which is Sony HAPZ1 ES. So just click on it and it will show all the music that I have there. It sounded pretty nice. I was surprised by how good it sounded, right? So let's try some music. So I try a bunch of different music using different external decks as well as its internal deck, right? So sound quality, listening to, I mean like Amazon or Ultra HD music, I mean this sounded real nice, very convincingly nice sound quality without much of a background noise or any uh, interference like any noticeable digital noise at all even when the sampling rate it changes some of the tracks are 192k some uh, some of the tracks are 48k and all the different variety of music what i notice is its sound quality is properly reproduced with highest resolution that it can deliver but there is no noticeable noise between the tracks whether you are changing from 44.1K to 192K or vice versa, it doesn't produce any noise. It's super quiet, very, very convincingly quiet. I mean, I was impressed by it, the way that it designed and the way that it can produce using internal deck or external deck, right? Internal deck is okay. It's just there to have it. So if you want to improve the sound, external deck is a must have even like as you want like that can greatly improve the sound quality so i try back to back bass room or bass drops so that intro bass slapping and string movement and all that small nuances and everything is noticeably better with external deck than the internal deck and overall presentation and skill is much better and presents right it has airy and spacious feeling so that is a greatly improved if i use su1 deck so that's where the difference is in sound quality with internet and external deck background music streaming only that you want to use then internet deck will be totally fine unless you want highest capable sound quality then external deck is a must have if you do the all the presets you can go through with that pattern so it will go through one to twelve or your favorite selection so that is like a shortcut kind of thing to your favorite playlist so that is a very simple you don't even need to open your phone you just keep on pushing it and it will go through all the twelve of the selection that you already preset in there so that is a really good feature this kind of affordable streaming device can give you very good quality music with or without external deck as well as giving you very good price to performance ratio right if you want to get best out of it just use an external deck proprietary operation system and design and everything as well as giving you most popular music streaming services, $150 and you get all the features and functions and everything and they are soon to be run ready as well and they are beta testing MQA probably is not no longer a big deal nowadays MQA is a little downside for me is when I log into my uh, Amazon Ultra HD account right when I log into it it doesn't really deliver all my playlists right it doesn't really sync together so i have to add it manually other than that it's no big deal sound quality i like it very much and i can easily recommend you to try it i don't think anything will beat it overall price and sound quality and everything that you are getting is what not to like i mean highly recommend it my friend thank you very much for watching and happy listening